welcome to Red Ted Art. Remember, first things first, subscribe to the channel. Now, today we're going to show you how to make these super cool, fun, and colourful paper rock paperweights. So we like using these paperweights. I think they make really nice gifts. They're great for picking up stones from the beach or on walks, and then coming home and making something. And it uses up all our leftover crayons. Brilliant. Of course, you can make these any size. Um, making little ones for your pocket they've got a lovely smooth texture um, or you can make big ones which are like these ones paper rocks and just a quick plug ta -ta -ta, these paper rocks or paper weights are look out of my book you know here you get the nice instructions here you get the pretty pictures um, and they're still going strong we love these anyway so to make your rock paper weights great for father's day by the way you will need a rock, you will need an oven, and you will need some crayons. Now, whilst I'm talking, I already have a rock in the oven. Oh, and you will need either some a pad of newspaper or something like this, like an empty box, to protect your surface. Now, whilst I've been talking, I've had a, a rock in the oven at about 200 degrees. I'm just going to go and fetch it for about 10 to 15 minutes, right? So did you hear that? It was 10 to 15 minutes in the oven and it's really really hot so I took it out with my oven gloves nice and dirty and um, you know be really really careful please do this with a grown-up if you're a bit younger if you're older obviously you know what you're doing so it's really hot don't touch it really really hot and then this is the fun bit look at this you just take your crayons and you start melting them all over your rock look, you can even do two at the same time I, we love to just make patterns and just let it run all over the place. Um, you know, we just take one crown at a time and stick it in the middle. Well, I'm doing two at the time here, aren't I? And just seeing what goes on. Look how beautiful that's melting. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Now, you might have to try out different crayons. So for example, this is a different quality one. Let's see. Oh, it does work quite well. I was going to say, some of them might melt faster than others. And it really is all about experimenting. Now, like I said, remember, it is hot. So please, please, please take care. And here you can see a bit of colour theory going on. I had like a bluey colour underneath and I put the yellow on top. And look, it's mixing into this beautiful yellow green. So let's just try out what happens if I do white. Oh, I love the white. And that's all you have to do. So you keep going round and round, colouring it in and till you're happy with the design and then you just let it cool off and you have a beautiful paperweight like i said this is a really nice gift we like making these um for father's day grandpa's birthday christmas and look can you see how it's all separating out it's beautiful isn't it now um what was going to say i had lots of things to say and now it's all disappeared well, it's because it's mesmerising. It's a bit more blue. Move it round. And that is it. Maybe a tiny bit more here. Oh, you see this crayon doesn't seem to work so well. Like I said, it's about experimenting, so I'm not going to use that one again. Let's use this pink one. Ah, much better, can you see? On these ones, you can really see where I rested the crayon whilst I was making them. And I think that looks quite fun too, but of course, it's totally up to you what kind of patterns you create. Well, that was it. So you need a rock, an oven, you need some oven gloves to protect yourself. Please, please, please be careful. Heat it to about 200 degrees for 20 minutes. Sit them in the oven and then carefully, carefully add your crayon patterns over the top. And that is it. Now, don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to see you here again on Retard Art really, really soon. Um, have a lovely day. Bye.